Okay, we're going to do a little video on how to change out the BenQ DVD drive of your Xbox 360. I realize there's a lot of people out there that are reluctant to do this fix because of the fact that the wires are soldered to the firmware board. All right, tools you'll need for this job are obviously a, one, a number one Phillips head screwdriver um, to remove the, the four screws off the back of the Xbox, um, excuse me, DVD drive box, and a soldering iron. Uh, Typically, a 20 to 30 watt soldering iron should be more than sufficient for, for this task. Um, I have a 15 watt to 30 watt adjustable soldering iron. It pretty much takes care of all the needs and issues that I have. So we're going to take the back cover off. The This is the old drive, and I like, I like to label them in case I'm interrupted or something and I come back and I don't get confused on which board that I'm working with. Because we're going to take the, the old board out of the old drive and replace it into the new drive. To avoid having to go through the uh, headache of flashing the drive. Uh, I know a lot of people say that the BenQ is really easy to do. With the um, nature of the newest Xbox band, you're just better off trying to um, use the board from the old DVD drive. It's the smartest, smart, most practical thing to do. So we're going to take the top off so we can get to the... Um, ribbon cable on the dvd drive we it it has two little tabs you pull those two little tabs back with your fingers and and the ribbon cable will jump free of the dvd drive uh the dvd um laser assembly and like uh and we remove that one on the back it, it removes the same way so basically with the exception of the wires that are attached to the board we have um released that board all right and we're gonna um there's a little piece of epoxy that holds the cables in place right there. You can choose to mimic that when you reassemble it. Um, I found that um, electrical tape is not a good uh, substitute for that. You can use, my suggestion is uh, medical tape, like for bandages, the little white uh, fabric style tape. It has a good adhesive, adhesive nature to it, and uh, it will stay in place, and it's, 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 probably the best option um so now your drive's free with the exception of the wires and i'm gonna i'm gonna do one like i said this was the first attempt to do it so we were just you know checking it all out uh, i'm gonna take one off just to get an idea how easy it was to do and it was very easy the wires are soldered directly to the top of the board they're not through it so it's, i mean it's, it's it's really simple all right so we got them all uh, the wires are just place my fingers on those control the late um the dvd motor that spins actually spins the dvd and the other set of wires controls the motor that opens and closes the tray the uh two sets of white wires that you see going to the front are actually switches and um i don't know if it actually matters which which way you solder those in but for safety purposes we put them exactly where they were um, but like I said, it's, it's a switch, so, you know, one carries a uh, current, the other one doesn't until it makes contact and it just makes a, uh, makes a, makes contact, makes a, a loop. So, I mean, I don't really think it matters, but for all intents and purposes, we're going to make sure they go exactly like they were. So we're going to remove the, the cover for the good drive that we're going to replace the board in. Um, pretty much the same way we're going to disassemble, uh, remove the ribbon cables and get the other board ready for removal. Like I said, pull the little tab back and the ribbon cable should pop freely. If, make sure you pull that loose because um, pull the little tabs back. Don't try to force it out. You're probably going to damage your cable. Uh, it releases very simply if you just pull the little tabs back. And the ribbon cable just pops right out. Um, BenQ's covers are kind of hard to get off, especially the top one. Uh, it's a very tight fit. So, But don't rush it. You'll get it. Just ease it off from corner to corner until you can get it free of its housing. All right, so we exposed the uh, ribbon cable for the laser on that one. I'm going to reach in there. and I don't know what I'm doing there. It's kind of funny, though. Uh, reach in there, pull those two little tabs back, and the ribbon cable jumps right out. Bam. There you go. All right, so that one's free with the exception of the wires. 
We're going to pull that little piece of epoxy off again. I'm going to go do something. I have no clue what it was. I should be back, hopefully, sometime today. There I am. Okay, good, good, good deal. All right, so, and excuse my stuffles. Um, all right, be very careful with the wires. You don't want to put too much stress on them. You don't want to tug on them too much. They're very small wires. You can actually, if you were to pull on them too tight or too much, you could actually break the strands inside the casing. And you will think you'll have a solid wire, but you... Yeah, I'm still thinking. <laughs> Do I want to touch this or not? Nope, I don't. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove all the rest of the wires. Very easy. Just touch it, heat it up, pull the wire loose. Like I said, it's on top. It's not through the board, so it's not that much of a headache. It takes uh, all of a minute to remove them all. And, you know, smooth out your pads again with your soldering iron as you're removing them. And make sure you don't have any spikes, um, because you don't want you want to make sure that that solder pad stays nice and flat. You don't want to um, have it contact with that plate on top, and thus shorting out your your board, which could do a lot of damage to the chips. And then you really would be in a mess because you would have to flash the drive but it's going to be very difficult to do if you can't get information off of it you know you have to have the the key per se and if you've damaged the board it's going to be difficult to retrieve that information so here we go putting uh wire one then wire two and as you can see it's very easy to you just lay it on there and touch it with your soldering iron and again make sure it's good and flat What I, what I decided at this point, once I get these two on there, that uh, it'd probably be best just to take the uh, take the, the board that we're removing, kind of flip it out of the way, but get it to where you can uh, access the uh, solder points. There you go. Place your other one quasi in place. I mean, you don't have to fasten it down or uh, connect the ribbons or anything of that nature so you can... You know, still be able to, to move it somewhat. And then just take one wire at a time. Take it, um, you know, off one terminal, put it on another one. And that's the easiest way to make sure you don't make a mistake. Um, you know, there's no, they don't mix them up <laughs> just, just to mess you up. Everything goes exactly back the way it was. So, as you can see, this only takes a few minutes. And again, make sure your solder points are flat. Uh, there's one and you know this is like I said this was our first attempt it took a little bit longer than you know I'd anticipated as far as figuring out exactly how to keep us keep keep our wires straight and make sure we put them back where they belonged but uh, FYI we put it all back together put it back into the Xbox signed on to Xbox Live red disc it did fine it was absolutely flawlessly operation so, you know, like I said, um, if you want to cut them in time together, you know, by all means, do what you have to do. Soldering irons are relatively cheap. You can probably pick one up at um, Radio Shack or someplace like that. I've seen them as cheap as $12 on eBay. Um, they may be a little more expensive at, at Radio Shack, but a $20 investment towards your two to $300 investment, you know, it's, it's well worth taking the... Uh, taking the initiative to go get the proper tools for the job um, like i said this worked this worked out fine and now that i you know have an understanding of how to keep everything straight i think this whole job would would take all of 20 minutes and that's with removing it from the xbox and then prepping it and repairing it and putting it back in so i hope you enjoyed it i was just saying well, i'm about to wrap it up i got one more to put on there but um you know, I, like I said, uh, there wasn't a lot of information on the internet about this, and I hope that this video was a little informative. Um, hope you don't have to go to these extremes, but, you know, Xbox is Xbox. They are what they are. They're... <laughs> we'll just leave that alone. But anyway, uh, that's how you change out the firmware board on your BenQ. Uh, good luck. <laughs>